Hi Libra, this is your channel messages for the 24th of September. Libra, I missed you yesterday. That's not the only thing I miss, Libra. Miss in my bed, I miss you, you and I. You left a fragrance in my room when you come by. You make me fly like a balloon into the sky. Me see me bed and miss you. Wish me the day I with you. I'm happy when I'm with you. Even my brother, listen, even my brother knew that I always fucked with Indians. My brother knew this from day one. That's why he knew that my marriage would fail, okay? Anyways, Libra, I missed you yesterday. I am your host, Vanessa Carby, your spiritual practitioner, psychic medium, and terror reader. Okay, let me go ahead and go into your messages, Libra. Jesus Christ, Libra, I saw my bed and I missed you. I missed you beside me. You left a fragrance in my room when you come by. Libra, he make me fly like a balloon into the sky. Miss him my bed and miss him. Wish me the dead there with him. I'm happy when I'm with him. I'm just saying, he's so sweet. The problem is, I had to be cleaning and I turn on the radio and I hear Tupac. He's so sweet. Dear mama. I love you, lady, don't you know I really appreciate it, pull no one above you, sweet lady, it's really so sweet, two packs of sugar, okay, anyways, let's go ahead and go into your reading, I miss you yesterday, Libra, also, I have something else to say to you, Libra, no, I don't know if this is my memory regression, or this is somebody else akashic records i'm getting something about libra you notice me getting this is one of the oldest lives you ever live even if you're 30 something me getting this is the oldest you ever live me getting every past life you had you died as a child which is why you may be a full grown and people might think that you're on the fucking spectrum libra people might think that you have a little special needs or we don't know maybe your body is developing faster than your fucking mental capacity libra me getting if you notice that you're you're old 40 50 year old but you have a young spirit is because almost every past life you were in you were killed as a child me getting that's why you forever have this childish spirit in you no matter how old you grow me getting in your past life every one of them you died as a child you either died in a car crash you died as a house fire somebody did murder kidnap you and murder you me getting every past life you've ever lived libra you died as a child you never passed 13 when you're dead all of them and of course, we see the whole, you know, Amanda, Amanda, the alerts, Amanda alerts, Ananda Dean alerts, you know, we see it and we say, oh, you know, hopefully the child comes home safe. You have no idea how many kids go missing. I think every 17 seconds, a kid goes missing in the United States of America. So that's what I'm getting, me, bro. You're noticing that, why is it that I can't be serious? Why I can't? You know, just act like the adults in, in corporate. I'm getting because the adults in corporate are not spiritually attached to their well-being. So they're chasing down the monies and the pussies at the rum bars. You're different, Libra. I'm getting because you have a spiritual connection too. Um, I'm getting that's why you stay that way. You have a young spirit or you never seem to want to grow up. Not saying that you're not responsible, but you don't want to grow up. I'm getting it because every past life you had, you died as a child, Libra. I don't know why I want to tell you that. Anyways, let's go ahead and go into your reading before we continue. Um, Lisa Hannah, the most honorable Lisa Hannah. Is it fair to say that we are back in Lisa Hannah for the next elections in Jamaica? Lisa Hannah will be my prime minister for the People's National Party. And I don't know about anybody else. So, Miss Hannah. Gun on you, are good on them. Lisa Hannah have the good pump pump. And I don't know where you're riding and I doom, doom. Lisa Haina, honey, doom, doom, doom. People vote for Lisa Haina, so she not for cheat, right? Jesus Christ. And your homeless. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. We need a change down here in the community. The girls are setting the prices of the pum pum too high down here. Sir, I understand the concern, sir, but we cannot do this here, sir. This is a professional place. And your homeless, the pum pum prices need to decrease. There is an inflation happening here. Sir, sir, I understand what you're saying, sir. Sir, perhaps you can take me to the side and talk about these concerns. My concerns is about the pum pum prices. And your homeless, we need a change. 
This is why Lisa, I said when Lisa and I come in the office, Jesus Christ, on the on the on the pockets go face inflation. Jesus Christ. Anyways, let's go ahead and go into your reading. Damien! Damien! Where's Damien Marley? I haven't seen Damien Marley in a very long time. Anyways, let's go ahead and go into your reading. Ah, uh, Libra. We got I trusted the wrong person, Libra. Who did you trust? We have bright future. We have cleanse your space. We have maybe friends. Maybe more. Maybe friends, maybe more, Libra. We have passport. We have program. We have larceny. And we have forbidden fruits. So those are your messages. I'm doing the readings a little different now, Libra. So I ain't clarifying these. I'm just I want to use more tarot cards to give you the message. Thus, that is what I'm trying to do. So that's your messages. Whatever. What do you call this? Whatever. No, motto. Whatever right, whatever words connect with you, then that's what connect with you. Larceny, forbidden fruit, program, passport, maybe friends, maybe more, cleanse your space, bright future, and I trusted the wrong person. Let's go ahead and go into your reading, Libra. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands coming out first. We have the Emperor. We have the Star card. And we have the Three of Cups. Okay, so the Emperor wants to introduce you to some girls. Me getting the Emperor one. Me, okay, me don't know if there's some girls who work for the Emperor. Okay, me getting the Emperor have some girls employed. Okay, they work for the Emperor. Maybe them work as spies and could just work as um, bringing back information. No, I'm getting you're the new addition to the Emperor's list. The difference between these girls and you is what, you're a star, these girls are not. Second of all, um, you might be into something very taboo, something about taking off your clothes. But getting the Emperor like you. No, I don't know if you're dealing with the exes of the Emperor. Oh my God, speaking of the Emperor, I'm watching Queen of Kings. Rose, Rose, Jesus. So I always, so I always see this couple. I always see this couple, and for some reason, I said to myself, I don't know, something off with this couple. Nevertheless, I've never watched them. I was watching Rose from Kings of Queens yesterday. That girl needs for the power reality TV. YouTube cannot hold a girl. Eh? They have a lot of followers though. The couple, Jesus, this girl is a this girl is a meme. And you know what my husband said? Like we were arguing, we were having an argument, and he had the audacity to look at me and say to me, "I'm not here for this ghetto shit." What? <laughs> Rose's husband said, "I am not here for this ghetto ass shit." <laughs> Rose would have shame, ah, and man shame me. Rose, man, shame enough. Rose, I am shame around enough time. Enough time. I am driving with a very, very handsome, attractive man, and a dog is in front of us, and a dog a bark off for me. Jeez, you know how humiliating that is to be walking with a fucking emperor, and one dog say, ah, ah. <laughs> Rose, Rose, what a shame, Rose. Something, something. Some. Me don't know if you had you with beer ex. Me getting the man. Me getting, I don't know if the man used to get around, okay? But me getting the man have a lot of exes or have a lot of girls he used to deal with. You different now. You are not like him exes. His exes might be very conservative, you're not. Me getting that's what the man like about you. Me getting the man like that you're very liberated sexually. Um, so me getting a lot of backlash. So Emperor, if you're going to take up this celebrity, you need to know a, a lot of Okay, how you think? How you think celebrities feel when they just go into a relationship? People are criticize them, they're gonna try to turn you away from who you love, they're gonna try to say, oh my god, this person is doing this, this person is doing that. You have to be strong in yourself if you're going to be in the spotlight with another person who is in the spotlight. I'm getting emperor, you want this person. You want her. No, there's going to be a lot of backlash. People are gonna be like, Emperor, why would you take up her? Like, it's better you went back to your exes. But here's what we're going to tell the emperor. Emperor, regardless of what the crowd want to say, nobody can stop with from linking. We're past the iceberg. We're not sinking. Just give me your support. Want to make you proud. Want to let you know what I'm thinking, right? Emperor, we don't, we don't care what the fans have to say. 
We don't care what the online comments have to say, Emperor. Nobody can stop me from linking. Nobody can stop me from... Can you... I'm sorry. Let's go ahead. So I'm getting the Emperor one, y'all. But you have to deal with some exes. Maybe you just have to deal with jealous public figures. Because I'm getting these women are jealous as fuck. Jealous. I'm getting somebody might be in the U New York as well. I'm getting something about New York. Let's clarify. We have the King of Swords. Okay, so the Emperor don't only want to take off your clothes. Somebody somebody finds you to be intelligent and find intelligence to drive them sexual energy i'm also getting somebody want going a business with you or something about cannabis somebody is either opening up a cannabis store them while you're going a business with them or something about the emperor i don't know if the emperor want you to try some strains i'm getting like you test some strains and you give your honest review to this king of swords somebody could be either a biochemist or them them grow Seeds, them grow, them know for grow seed underwater like rice. When we're getting somebody want going a business, we're getting the king of swords does not consume his own supply though. So maybe that's why them want you. We're getting the king of swords is going to go into a business that's a, that's a little bit taboo, but we're getting them don't participate in it. Them only fund it and oversee everything. The emperor is the ace of cups, the star card is a five of pentacles, and the three of Pe the three of cups is a six of wands. Yeah, me getting a lot of people where abandon you or them ago sabotage you. Me getting people don't want you to support this person. Again with a dog. Somebody support. I don't know if somebody was is supposed to be for companionship. Come and getting where you use a dog for. You use it for companionship. Nothing else. Rarely people use dog for protection unless they're in the police force. So I'm getting your one one companion or your one one bedmate because she her clothes is half naked. I'm getting something about this animal. Are you putting your animal down? I feel like you keep on putting this animal down thinking it's this woman. You keep on putting the way you do it. You don't say you look like you're there with somebody and you name the animal the same name as your woman, don't. And if that's not it, me getting um you gave her a person you gave her identity to an animal. So fear documents is not the animal name. So what to do? Wanna put the house in the animal name, we wanna put the car in the animal name, we wanna put utilities and light bills in the fucking animal's name, right? We get you our woman name. Or better yet, wanna give them woman identity to our man. I'm gonna say that's a man. Yeah, it's a guy. It's a guy. It was never a guy. It was never a guy. Uno wanted to save on a sorry ass with this transgender, gay, sexual, bi bilingual, bisexual argument. I uno, I uno blood clot for other country. You know that? You know that Canada never was ne Canada had gay people, but Canada was never into transgender or nothing like that. A Jamaican them say that. They watched Jamaicans. I tell you blood clot this, especially in America too. Me, 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 me go in a little bit, bit of blood clot, LGBTQAI history. A Jamaica, the blood clot first place, them start to say, man I dress like girl. Canada was never supportive or never into this whole transgender thing. Canada was never into that. A Jamaicans, them did watch and say. Because that was the biggest, one of the biggest things why Jamaicans were fleeing from them country was the fact of um, when it came on to... Um, Seeking asylum because of, of being fear of being raped or killed, right? Back in the day, then we had talk about 1990 something. When I talk about this new new community where people want to use him, she, it, her, and have. And people, for those of you who do not know, you only use pronouns if you fuck the same sex. You never know this. You you don't. You're not a straight person, and you use pronouns. Not don't go so. So on top of you, um are so far up the LGBTQAI bomb, you don't even properly know how to use these pronouns. Maybe them don't even fucking know how to use it too. Pronouns are used by people who are gay. No straight people use pronouns. I don't know if you know this. You don't identify as she, her, when you have a vagina, when you're sleeping with a penis. That's not how you use pronouns. So I understand some of them want to show the support, but I don't even know what the fuck the community is about. And it's weird I'm straight and I know more about this than people who are in the community. So that's the first rule. You don't use a pronoun if you're fought, if you're fought the opposite sex. You're not, you're not asking to be identified as anything other than a feminine energy. If you're trans, you would use a pronoun because you want to be called a girl now. 
Rise, cool. If you're gay, if you're butch, but you act like a man, but you're really a girl, you would choose your pronouns whether you want to stay as she, her, or you want to change it to he, him, because you act like a girl. People, if you're straight, straight, two straight people, two religious people, two people who came from whatever religious sector, if you decided to be with somebody who is of a different sex, you don't use pronouns, you're not gay, you're not a part of the community. So I be seeing a lot of people wrapping them heads or I be seeing a lot, of, a lot of Christian people using pronouns and I did not know that you guys were gay. Oh, you're not? Okay, well, you're illiterate then. Continuing, yeah, I'm getting something like this. Cause she outside just like the fucking dog. So what, what, is that, what is it that you and the dog have in blood clot? Come on. <laughs> I guess fucking Quebec will never know, right? I'm getting a lot, a lot of backlash when it comes from you being with this woman. So are you willing to take the backlash? Me getting the whole of your friend never abandon you. The girls never abandon you. If you is a girl and you start take up this guy and dating this guy, the whole of the girlfriend never abandon you. Then probably text the guy shit just for fuck with the guy head. Oh, you know she pregnant. Oh, you know she fucking a guy yesterday. Them got, because them, them, them want, I don't know what this is. Me don't know who, who buy new to one dog or some type of human fucking dog argument. Lord Jesus, I hope, I hope if they want to treat her like a dog, them leave the whole of them blood clot inheritance to you just like how the old woman did to her fucking dog. Yeah, we have a knight of wands. Yeah, me getting knight of swords. Me getting all this talent, all this beauty. All, everybody wants a piece of you, but still, for some reason, you and this fucking dog. You and this dogish nightmare. You and the nightmare of being turned into a dog. Who did you make give your anal penetration and turn into a blood clot dog? This is what I want to know. Because they got you as a pet. I hope you know they got you as an aminal, an aminal, and everybody know this. The emperor, everybody, know, everybody knows, every fucking body, everybody. I'm going to start blood clot teeth. That is what I'm going to fucking do. When you want to walk around claiming that people is aminals, I'm going to start walking on a blood clot store and teeth. I'm going to see you know, a dog. Let me see if you can fuck. That means I'm not supposed to pay for nothing. The fuck? Hmm? I'm going on a blood clot place and no, I'm not going to do that. I'll never listen to me. You might call me a thought, but I will not be called a thief. <laughs> Let me tell you, I rather give my pussy more frequent than I steal stuff. I never steal. I'm not a stealer. I'm not a thief. I'm a lot of things in life, but I'm not a thief. You can't, you can't, you can't associate me more with the devil than saying I'm a thief. I'm not a thief. I don't steal. But I don't know what's up with you and this dog. Your dog dead, maybe your dog dead. Maybe you had a dog that you were your best friend since you were a small, small child. Me getting your dog dead now. And anytime you have animals, your soul tie with the animals. Your dog dead, you dream about your dog. I'm getting your dog never went to heaven. Your dog is stuck outside of a church building. We don't know why. We, we don't know why. As if the dog knew English. So we could translate to the dog, why are you outside? We can't even do that because the dog doesn't. You're unreasonable, people. You're harboring our cat. Excuse me, sir. We're not harboring your cat, okay? Your cat just came over to say hi. Listen, you just, when you see my cat say, Mercury, go home. You don't belong here. Dude, it's a cat. It doesn't speak English. You're upset because we made friends with your cat. You, you know what? We'll just see what the police has to say about this. Okay, fine. Call the police officers. You get a cat pervert. You're a cat pervert. That's who you are, okay? I'm getting you have nightmares about your pet. Your animal. Or something about you don't have to give away your dog, put down your dog. I'm getting your dog away from you. Your dog away from you for go to church. Your dog away from you for repent. That's one thing about dogs and animals. They see how evil their owners are, but still they are loyal. <laughs> I'm going to leave it here. Until next time, bye.